Welcome back. It's rare that rookies in Philadelphia become fan favorites before they ever play a game, but Matisse Thibel charmed the city instantly, and he recently made new friends at Children's Hospital, including a seven-year-old Sixers fan in the fight of his life. My name is Freddie, and I am in first grade. How old are you, Freddie? Seven. Freddie Curley is a typical kid who loves to joke and laugh. He is undeniably one of the most handsome boys that most people have ever seen. They tell him all the time. He loves to play basketball and likes sports a lot. About two years ago when I started watching the Sixers, he just got real into basketball and ever since then it's everything Sixers. Who are your favorite players? Well, of course Matisse Seibel. Yeah, why him? He visited me while I was in the hospital. Last month, Freddie was taken to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia with what his family described as a lingering illness. He was, you know, having flu-like symptoms for, you know, a little over a week, maybe two weeks. We took him to CHOP and, you know, through blood tests, they concluded pretty quickly, just in a matter of a few hours, that it was, you know, all the signs for leukemia. Freddie was diagnosed with type B lymphoblastic leukemia. It was the worst day of our yeah, lives. Definitely. It was the worst day of our lives. After a blood transfusion and days of chemotherapy, Beth searched for a way to lift her son's spirits. It was the Sunday after the diagnosis, so it was our sixth full day in the hospital. And I knew that the next day was when we were going to have to tell Freddie. Beth scrolled Instagram and found Matisse Thibel. She felt compelled to send a heartfelt message to one of Freddie's favorite players. I just poured out my guts to him, like, <laughs> you know, I do not... I never saw myself writing to a sports player, but Freddie's such a fan, and I don't know, I had just had a feeling that it would be received. But Beth reached out unaware of Matisse's personal connection to the disease. Thibel's mother, Elizabeth, died of leukemia when he was just 17. I just try to, I mean, my mom's a doctor, she took care of people, so I try to give back as much as I can. And I feel like basketball has given me an amazing stage to be able to do that, and, and now being in the NBA, I think I'll have even more of a stage to do that now. Within hours, Thibel responded, and at 3 o'clock the following afternoon, Matisse was at CHOP to meet Freddie and the Curly family. He was really, really kind. Like, as soon as he walked in, he didn't just go straight to Freddie. Well, yeah, he's, he high-fived everyone, and then he, like, high-fived Freddie. Then they, Freddie's like, you want to play? From his hospital bed, Freddie and Matisse went one-on-one. -on -one. Somehow, I'm in the hospital, laying in bed, making some threes, and Seibel over here can make a shot. So you are telling me that you beat Matisse Yeah, like 27-2, I win. <laughs> Just hours after receiving the worst news of his young life, Freddie was on top of the world. It was amazing. Thanks to the kindness of Matisse Thibel. And that's what I told Matisse. Like, this is what you did. Like, you took this day that we were so fearful of, and you turned it into this day that we never want to forget now. And it was an amazing thing for him to have done for us. We reached out to Matisse, and always humble, he chose not to discuss the meeting, saying he wanted to keep that between he and Freddie. But as for my man Freddie, he's at home now continuing his fight. He's getting treatment twice a week at Children's Hospital, and he's in for a long journey, but the prognosis is excellent according to his family. What a crazy story. I mean, in a matter yeah. of hours, Matisse Thibel was there. Wow. And I've got something, guys. Yes. It might be worth a little bit of money in oh. a couple of years. That is a <laughs> signature from my man Freddie right Freddie there. Freddie gave you an autograph. He autographed this piece of paper for me. I mean, that's got to be worth a few thousand dollars You at need least. to put that in a Ziploc bag. I'm that's gonna, right, and save I'm gonna, it. I'm keeping that one myself. Freddie is clearly one special little boy, and we are all rooting for him. And it's so nice to see Matisse step up and, you know, Great guy. go and meet him. He has that's certainly wonderful. endeared himself to, uh, to, the, to the city as, yes. a, as yes. a whole. Right, right away he did. Great. It's amazing. So Great touching. Guy. Thank you, Patrick. Right. Appreciate Thank it. You.